In today's video, we're going to be discussing Schwab D and why I'm using it as a day trade vehicle this time instead of a passive income vehicle. We earn over 100,000 per year in dividends at this channel, and I use that to live financially free, travel the world. Dividends also act as qualifying income to the banks so I can unlock my life. I can buy a house, I can buy a car, and I don't have to have a job to do it. So your whole world opens up when you have qualifying income from dividends. Plus the dividends pay back my margin debt of 260,000. So if I have 100,000 per year in dividends that I earn and I have margin debt of 260,000, it'll pay it back in less than three years. And my account will be left with the 300,000 that it paid off. So if I'm at 386,000 in my account right now, then my account will be at 686,000 and my debt will be at zero. And I'll be left with all the dividend paying assets to myself. So why would I buy Schwab D right now? Well, you got to keep things exciting, okay? You have to day trade a little bit. You have to have some fun in the market. Plus, since I'm using margin, I want to only day trade safe names. So Schwab D is the best candidate to trade, in my opinion, because not only is it safe, but there are bullish reasons, bullish underpinnings underneath Schwab D right now that I think could lead to a rally in its stock price. And I'll share with you those reasons right now. So we're in the portfolio now, and yes, you can see we earn over 100,000 per year in dividends, and our performance and value shows that we're beating the market. And today that number is gonna update. We're up 24%, as you saw in the past video, up one that we're up 24%, the Dow's up 1%, the S&P is up 11, and the NASDAQ's up 26. So we're catching up to the NASDAQ. And after today's performance, which we're up 0.53%, Whereas the market was down 0.59, the Dow, the NASDAQ was down 0.9, the SP is down 0.2. So tomorrow morning, you'll see this update and reflect, and we should be even higher for the year. Our performance should be doing even better, and we should catch up even further to the NASDAQ, especially since the NASDAQ fell today and we grew in value. How do we grow in value today? Yes, because we're rotating to a Schwab D, but that hasn't really helped us yet because we just started the position in Schwab D. Our other value play that's helping us out a ton is Cornerstone. As you know, I'll just briefly highlight this. Cornerstone is one of my favorite funds. It's a four-star fund, as you guys know. But the best part about Cornerstone is that it's up on a down day today because it usually averages a 30% premium to its NAV per year. So this is a very strong fund up until the rights offering comes. That's when it drops the stock significantly. You have to know how to play the rights offering when you're buying Cornerstone, which I coach you through if you buy my e-guides so uh cornerstone's how i'm getting the performance 649 this is the nav price it's dripped at each month 24 percent gain 670 671 654 66 look 22 percent gain 20 percent gain 23 percent gain these are all this is almost you know seven seven hundred dollars nine hundred dollars here five hundred so these are instant gains each month that my dividends of about 3500 per month in cornerstone are dripped at at the nav so i get my 21 percent dividend compounded back at the nav each month i get those capital gains that you just saw from the drip shares at the nav and then you also get days gains of 0.78 and 0.50 i know this video is looking like deja vu to my typical subscribers because yesterday uh, or on friday you saw the same performance out of cornerstone and, and you know even on a down market day you're wondering how does that happen it's because it's a four-star fund and it averages a 30% premium to its nav. You just have to know how to play it. So anyway, going to Schwab D, I'll show you that we have 4,000 in it. And I'm gonna show you why I'm buying Schwab D and getting more aggressive into it right now. Not only do we need more balance because we've been chasing growth and we need some value, but there are technical reasons on the chart why you should buy it, five good reasons. Here's the quarterly dividend, it's 3.7, it's not very high. But look at this chart, it looks like it has room to run back to 77. But let's zoom in. You need an x-ray of the chart. You can't just look at the outside. You can't just diagnose a knee injury at the hospital looking at it. You have to go into the x-ray. So we're here at the charts where I always have my technicals set in. As you can see, I have these moving averages on. And on a max, on a 10-year time frame, Schwab D is at the 50-day moving average, this purple line. So that's very significant for both short-term traders and long-term investors. Also, the MACD is coming off of uh, the $40 area, 40 to 50. And usually when that happens, when it's uh, uh, oversold like this, it, it means it's ready for a move higher. And as you can see from the past times, the RSI was oversold. We got a, a consequential move up in the stock, in the fund. Uh, same here. RSI uh, almost oversold. We got a move up in the stock. 
Schwab D doesn't really get too oversold very much because it's a high quality fund. So when it reaches the $40 area or the 50, the 40, the 40 area or the 50 area, that's where you want to start getting aggressive, I believe, in this fund, just going by the past stats. And if you look at a one year chart, you can see that the stars are aligning because on a five year chart, on, on a max chart, you still see the, R, the RSI coming off of oversold territory. But on a one year chart, it is doing the same thing. So on a, both a max, on a 10 year time frame and a one year time frame, the stars are aligning. We're getting the same setup for both. That's extremely bullish. You have a, a MACD cross. You have the RSI coming off of oversold territory. Look what happens when you get a cross in the MACD. You get an upward stock price movement. Here we got a cross. You got, an, you got a bounce up in the stock price. Back here, a cross in the MACD. You got to move up in the stock price. Cross, move up in the stock price. So yes, I'm not a trader at this channel, but we use charts to get the best entry and exit points that we can. And... Right now, since we're do doing this day trade on Schwab D, it makes sense to use the technicals to your advantage. Also, whenever we're oversold, we get a bounce. Bounce. Oversold here at, at uh, 40 and below, a bounce. Oversold. Oversold here. Bounce. So this is the stars are aligning for Schwab D to have a favorable setup and perhaps a move back up to 77 from 70. And the, the downside looks like it's about $57, uh, $60 to tell you the truth, because $60 right here is the old Corona high. So $60 would make sense uh, for a support level, but I don't believe that Schwab D is going to get there because it's on support. Again, if you saw it on a Mac, on a three-year time frame or a Mac, any time frame you look at, really, it's, it's at support. This is on the 200-day moving average on a five-year chart. That's really bullish. So I don't see this level breaking. This is a strong setup for, for Schwab D. We've got RSI oversold, MACD wanting to cross. You also have it's at structural support, which is on a, on a not only on a five-year time frame, uh, that's Corona. So we had the, the high of Corona is at the, uh, would be at the, the low for Schwab D if we were to break this at 60. So that would be structural support, but that's not very clear. Let's show you the one-year chart. I want to show you the structural support here. We have 70, which was support, 70 back in March. And then look, back in July, 70. So this was strong support. That's called structural support. Plus it's a whole number, 70. And whenever you get whole numbers, that's also bullish for trades uh, for long-term and short-term investors because it's easier to plug into their algorithms. So you have structural support at 70. You have a whole number at 70. You have It's on strong uh, support of the moving averages on any time frame you look at. And then also you have the MACD crossing, that's four, and you have the RSI being oversold on all time frames. really. That's five. That's the fifth reason to buy Schwab D and take it for a day trade. So Schwab D is going to give us that performance that we need. It's going to give us some balance because we've been chasing growth. And if we have a problem in this trade, it's not going to hurt us much because it's a conservative, slow-moving fund. And if the market were to take a dive and I had to sell from things, I could easily sell from Schwab D for minimal losses because again it's a low uh low volatility name and it has a, a small dividend so i won't lose any income by selling schwab d and releasing some pressure because i have all this margin i won't lose i won't sacrifice my way of life by selling some schwab d if the trade doesn't work out so but even if the trade doesn't work out for a while i might just hold this long term anyway because it's good to have a balance of value and growth now i don't have my editing software here so uh, bear with me while I segue to the next part of the video. So that's why we're buying Schwab D, guys. We need to have a day trade on. We need to keep things exciting, but also it adds balance to the portfolio. We've been chasing growth lately, as you know, and now we're adding some value in because that adds balance. And there should be a rotation coming back to value since growth has had its run. So even if growth keeps going further, great. We're positioned with growth. We own growth names. But if there's that rotation or if the market pulls back a little bit here, then Schwab D is a good defensive play. So it's, it's, I see it as a low risk day trade for one. Also, it's a place to part my cash because it, the, the dividend from Schwab D pays back my margin interest. It offsets most of it. So while my equity has grown so much from the recent market run, I'm going to use that equity to my advantage by placing a day trade in something like a Schwab D that's very safe. It's a five-star fund on Morningstar, and it should work in a defensive environment and a down uh, market environment. So 
that's why I'm doing it. Plus it adds qualifying income and you can open up your life and live financially free, which is what I'm huge about on this channel. Let me just show you what I mean by that. We're here in this uh, hotel in New York City, but look at this skyline, okay? This skyline, you know, th th that's a view of Times Square right there. It's, it's really cool, I thought. And, you know, that's why we're doing this, okay? We're doing this not only to live financially free, but to enjoy life, okay? Get the most out of life with dividends. So uh, please click like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you need e-guides, email me at akintod48 at gmail.com. I have volume one, which is fundamental analysis. Volume two, technical analysis. If you need help reading those charts, uh, that's what that's good for. Volume three is on, on margin and how to live financially free using margin. And volume four is on cornerstone and how to play the rights offerings. So email me for those e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. The pricing was $50 for each guide. The pricing will go up soon. When the rights offering begins, I'm going to go to $100 per each e-guide. So uh, secure those now if you're interested in those e-guides, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.